Welcome to another demo of RPA Genie. In this video, we'll learn about file related activities. So we can we'll check how can we rename files and folders using RPA Genie. So we have file activities under system, under file. Here we have all the file activities. So let's check how can we rename a file and a folder. So we have activity rename file, which we rename a file of the re rename the given file. We also have activity rename folder. Which will rename the specified folder. So in rename file we have a source file where we'll give the path of the file who we want to rename. In file name we'll give the new name, and we also have an option to keep extinction. And in rename folder we have a field source folder where we'll give the path of the source folder, and in target folder we'll give the new name to the folder. We also have an activity called get folder info, which retrieves all the properties of the given folder. So in folder path, we'll give the path of the folder whose info we need, and we'll store it in a variable. So let's see how they work in a project. So I have created a folder, demo folder, and inside a demo folder there is a text file whose name is hello. So we'll rename this text file. We we'll rename this demo folder and we'll get the creation time of this create folder which I have created earlier. So let's configure the project. So in rename file for the source file, I'll select local file explorer and select hello. And the new name which I want to give to this file is file renamed. I'll keep the .txt extinction. So I'll check mark this in rename folder. I'll give the path of this demo folder. So shift right click, copy as path, open the script, paste it here, and we'll replace the single slashes with double slashes. And the new name which I want to give this folder is renamed folder. So now. In get folder info, I'll give the path of this create folder. So shift right click, copy as path, paste, and replace the single slashes with double slashes. And we'll store the data in a variable. So let's create a variable var folder info. And to display the content of this var folder info, we'll use a message box. So we'll pass the input var folder info dot creation time to get the creation time. So let's run this project and see how it works. So as you can see, it has renamed the hello txt file to rename file. It has replaced the demo folder to renamed folder, and it is giving the creation time of this create folder. So that's all for today's video. Thank you.